Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Mr. Pui's English class. Today, we are going to go traveling. Today's views are, I can plan and write sentences, and also I can join the sentences with and. We have been staying at home for quite a long time. What say you if we are going traveling today? Do you want to join me? Great! Today, we are going to go to three different places. We are going to Canada, the UK, and also Australia. Do you want to go with me? Let's go! The first place that we are going is Australia. Come to Australia, make a sand castle on the beautiful beaches. So this is one of the beach in Australia, and we can make sand castle here. Don't you think it's fun? I like it. We can also see the animals, which include the kangaroo and the koala. These two animals are very popular in Australia. Besides that, we can also swim and snorkel in the sea. Which one would you like to do? I would choose swimming. Let's read this paragraph again. Come to Australia. Make a sand castle on the beautiful beaches. See the animals, the kangaroo and the koala. Swim and snorkel in the sea. Very good. Pack your luggage, we are going to another place. Come to Canada. So we are now in Canada. What should we do? We can catch a fish in one of the beautiful lakes. We can also take a photo of the big forests and high mountains. Besides this, we can also watch the whales or go horse riding. Wow! Which one would you prefer to do? Let's read this one more time. Come to Canada. Catch a fish in one of the beautiful lakes. Take a photo of the big forests and high mountains. Watch the whales or go horse riding. Great! Hurry, we are going to the next place. Yes, we are now at the UK or the United Kingdom. The first place we are going to see is the Queen's Palace. This is where the Queens live. It's also called Buckingham Palace. Besides this, we can go to see the famous Tower Bridge in England. Do you still remember this song? London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Yes, this is the bridge that we are singing all about. After that, we can go to Scotland and listen to the music of bagpipes. This is a musical instrument called bagpipes. So, which place would you like to visit first? I would go to the famous town bridge first. Let's read this paragraph again. 
come to the UK. C. Buckingham Palace. And the famous tower bridge in England. Go to Scotland and listen to the music of bagpipes. Great! Now let's take a look at these three paragraphs again. Can you tell me? There is one word which is all present or is there in these three paragraphs. I'm sure you already know this. Yes, it's the word and. Yes, this and is very useful and we can use this word and to join two words or sentences that are similar. For example, in the first paragraph, we use the word an to join the two animals, which are the kangaroo and also the koala. We also use the word an to combine or join two things, which are the big forests and also the high mountains. In the third paragraph, we use an to join two places, which are Buckingham Palace and also the famous Tower Bridge in England. Let's take a look at some other examples using the word and. These two are the famous food in Australia. We have chicken parmigiana and also lamingtons. Instead of writing or saying one by one, we can actually join these two food together using the word and. We can say, the famous food in Australia are chicken parmigiana and lamingtons. Let's take a look at the second one. These two are the famous sports in Canada. We have ice hockey and also baseball. Instead of writing or saying one by one, we can join these two sports together using the word and. So we can write like this. The famous sports in Canada are ice hockey and baseball. Isn't it easy? Next, this is the Scottish traditional costume. In other words, these are the traditional costumes worn by people in Scotland. We have kilt and also plate. Instead of writing one by one, we can join them together using the word and. We can say the Scottish traditional costume includes a kilt and a plate. Isn't this easy? Great! All right, boys and girls, that's all for today. Thank you for joining me at Mr. Pui's English class. See you again. If you like Mr. Pui's English class video, please click like here and also click on the subscribe button. Bye.